Why hello YouTube, this is Adrian from Team Dueling Bro, bringing you guys a uh, Shenron's Advent Dragon Ball uh, Super Card Game uh, Starter Deck with our buddy here, uh, Show Nintendo. And um, go right ahead. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this right now. So this is like his first impressions. So. Yeah, this is just first impressions. Literally all I know about the deck is that it has Shenron in it. I did see on the back of the box, I'll show you right here, that it has black and red cards in it, so I thought that was pretty interesting. What's the reason why you picked, uh, picked up Shenron? Well, I picked it up because it seemed a little more interesting to me because it has a, it has a wish mechanic, which is different than the... Uh, it's similar but different than the uh, Awaken mechanic. Yeah. And it has to do with the Dragon Balls and whatnot. I'm going to set the box inside. And uh, I took out the, the right here, the, um, the play mat. I'm going to show that off real quick. All right. It's a real nice play mat. It's got Shenron right there on the front. Can you see it? And then Pig and then Piccolo on the side. What the heck? I just know it's Piccolo. Oh, is that Piccolo? No. Oh, no. no. Yeah. This right here, this is the guy from Frieza's new army. Oh, I forgot. Guy? Sorbet, that's his name. Sorbet. And then right there is Ulan. <laughs> and then, yeah. I'll fold this back up because I'm not going to be using this. Actually, I'll have, I'll have Adrian fold that up. <laughs> this, everything has this one. So that's the rules. Yeah. Put it up to the side, and then I'm going to take up the deck. Put the plastic to the side. So, the only card you can see right here is the, uh, the Shenron card, and it looks really nice. Careful, watch out with the player. There There's a glare on it. Probably because there's plastic all over it. Don't go past uh, Groudon's eye, by the way. So if you're going to... Show more Dumbo passes eye. Well, yeah, like, but I can put stuff off the screen like that. Yeah. All right. So the leader card right here starts off as the Dragon Ball. And then there. flip. And then flip is Shenron. Wish, which is. Let me see. It's a Shenron. It's called Mirac uh, Miraculous Arrival Shenron. Mm -hmm. Put that right down here on the side. Shenron. Okay, and then the first battle card is another Shenron. It's called Shenron, Figure of Majesty. It's green, it's got 20,000 power, and this card. Oh, this card can't attack either. Weird for a battle card that this can't attack either. But uh, there it is. Hmm? The battle card you can't, can't attack? The battle card can't attack either. Alright, next you got Dimensional Warrior Son Goku. Alright, I recognize this one from the um Oh, so this the Dragon Ball Heroes. Is this one's basically dropped off um it's basically almost like a great keeper deck for Yu-Gi-Oh. You have to have a lot of stuff in the and stuff. And then you got Dimensional Warrior Son Goku. Got two of those. Don't know much about it, but I do know that I recognize the, um, the characters from the Dragon Ball Heroes one. Next, we got two Vegeta Return from Darkness. Do you think, oh, uh, there's another uh, Shenron oh, that's figure of majesty. That's yeah, it's the common version of it. Do you think uh, the planet uh, Nemeki and Shenron is in there? Oh, like the big, the big buff guy, one? Big guy, yeah. I don't think so. Let me see. <laughs> what was his name? I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, just keep going. Maybe we'll see. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. And now we got two of these Go Mega on. Focus Sun Goku. Oh, uh, it's Goku. Okay. Yeah. From Dragon Ball. Oh GT. no no no! This is GT. Oh, yeah no no! This is not GT. This is a. Uh, this is from Dragon Ball. Oh okay. It's the Fortune Teller of Bala Saga. Oh. And then that one from Dragon Ball as well. This one is from Dragon Ball as well. It's just called Son Goku. We got three of them. 
it's the peel off saga. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Regular card. It's common. Three of them. Mm -hmm. Next, you got Yamcha. Your boy Yamcha. Looking pretty cool. 20,000. Two pores. Can't see it there. There you go. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Poor best pal. Two two poor best pals. Got six thousand power. Uh, the effect is when you combo with this card from the battle area, you may add one card from your life to your hand. If you do, choose up to one red Yamcha with an energy cost of two from your deck. Play it and shuffle your deck. Pretty cool. Next, there are three. Wait, no, there's four. Four. Yeah, I see it. Four scheming oolongs. And I'll read you the effect right now. Auto. When you play this card, if your leader card is a Shenron card and oolong's wish is in your drop area, draw two cards. Pretty cool. Get some draw power from this card. Alright, now you got four Oolong's Wish cards. This is an extra card. Right here. I'll read the effects right now. Permanent effect. This card gains desire in all areas. The active main is your leader card is Shenron card. Is is Shenron card. Draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets negative five thousand power for the duration of its turn. So you get to take away five thousand power from the card. Is that an extra or after battle card? This is an extra card. Could I put it like right in front to get a close up that good? Okay. A little bit works? more down. Okay. Alright, so okay, I can do close ups right here. Yes. Okay. Oh, four of them, by the way. Four of these. Next, you have four Dragon Ball Seeker Bulmas. This is also an extra card. You have four of them. And it has active main. Once per turn, choose up to one Dragon Ball card from your deck and place it into the drop area, then shuffle your deck. Okay, so Bulma is one of your main ways to get Dragon Balls out of your deck. That's a good way to, uh, to awaken Shenron. There you go. A little close up look at it. And next card. Four Kami Global Unifier. Global Unifier. Okay, so well, this is a battle card with 3,000. It's effect to deflect. This card isn't affected by counterplay skills. Auto. When you play this card, draw one card. Active main. To your opponent has four or more battle cards in play. Choose all of your choose all of your and your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of four or less, ignoring barrier, and KO them. So you can instantly KO the card. Alright. Got four temporal rescue trunks. A little bit back to focus. That's fine. All right, and um, so super combo. You can only include up to four cards with super combo in your deck. And that's all of them. So yeah, these are the four super combos. Auto sparking five. This skill takes effect when you have five or more cards in your drop area. When you when you combo with this card, if your leader card is black, draw one card. That's a pretty cool looking card. This card would probably look really cool as a a hollow. Yeah. It's fifty per deck, right? Yeah. Are you making a new one right now? <laughs> Next. Four power bursts. This is an extra card. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not. Yeah, nipples. 
I love that. So, I mean, it, it has Roshi on it, but it's not a Roshi card. It's an extra card. Counter attack. Your leader card is black. Negate the attack. Then choose up to one black battle card from your drop area and warp with an energy cost of one and add it to your hand. Permanent sparking five. This skill takes effect when you activate the card and counter your skills from your hand, adding a card in your life and instant playing energy costs. Okay. And then you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Dragon Ball cards. These cards are what you use to. Oh, sorry. Cool how you can actually have more than one. You have seven of them. I mean, that was probably the only exception they like. It's like Exodia. Yeah, that, that's what I would compare it to as Exodia. Is once you have seven of these cards in your drop zone, you can then Witch, which is pretty much Awaken Shenron. And you have his effect. Which Shenron's effects again? When he's awakened? I forgot. Okay, let me read those off to you. Permanent, this card can't attack. Active main, once per turn. Choose one. Uh, dash. If you can, it says choose one dash. Draw one. Oh, you choose one effect. <laughs> Damn it. It's like choose one. And then it, it bullet points two effects. I, okay, Adrian's laughing at me right now. This funny. Okay, you can either choose between uh, draw one card or cho choose one desire card in your hand with an energy cost less than one or equal to your current energy and activate its uh, main skill. Remove seven Dragon Ball cards from your drop area from the game. If you do choose one of your battle cards and it gets plus 10,000 power and triple attack for the duration of the turn. Then flip this card over at the end of the turn. That's pretty much the witch. And then flip it? To back to, to the flip. point where he can attack. Oh, no, no, flip it back to the Dragon Ball. This could, No, the Dragon Balls can't attack either. Oh, man. So they can attack it. Yeah, they can attack the Dragon Balls. Oh, man. So if you don't have a field, you're screwed. Yeah. Like my field. Last cards are World Peace. Oh shh. <laughs> that, remind, that reminded me of the time Krillin died in Dragon Ball. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, That's why. It's, it's kind of. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the effect is permanent. This card gains desire in all areas. Active me. What does desire mean? It's minus 10 from the top of your deck. Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Desire is a card. Oh, yeah? It should be a card. It should be a type of card. Ruben. You remember this? Active main. Your leader card is is Shenron card. I Choose just, one battle card in your drop area with an energy cost less than or equal to your current energy and play it. Four of those, man. Eh, upside down doesn't matter. And that's that's the that's the end of the deck. And what do you think overall about this deck? Do you recommend it for other people? Uh, yeah, I would recommend it for other people. It just what it seems to me is that it's not very, it's not as beginner friendly as other decks could be. Mm -hmm. So which means you need a, little, a better understanding of the rules to to use this deck efficiently. Yeah, uh, Alright guys, well Okay, um, that's it <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well um, Comment, like, and subscribe And I'll put uh, Show Nintendo's uh, link At the bottom of the description for his channel For you guys to check him out And then we'll see you guys there, okay? Bye-bye